is, oh gosh, what is today? December 6th. And we're taking the cat to get spayed. She's over here. She wakes up with me every single morning, but this morning I had to drag her out from under my bed. She must know what's coming. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've got all three kids with me today. Well, every day. <laughs> they are my kids after all. Uh, and it's pouring rain. It has been all morning and probably will be all day. So it's the perfect day to take three kids out. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take them into the vet with me and it's, it's gonna be a little bit hectic, but we'll get it done. Poor Maggie, she's like, what is going on? Poor thing. I'm sorry, you're in a little, little cage. Okay, well we are gonna start the drive. It's, um, it's about 30 minutes away, so a little trek and you would have seen I had to drink tea this morning because we are all out of coffee so I might stop at Dunkin Donuts on the way home and get myself a holiday coffee we'll see I also have a grocery order to pick up on the way back which is another thing that's gonna be so fun to do in the pouring rain bringing in groceries I picked the wrong day <laughs> uh, but yeah here we go Walmart waiting for our pickup order to come out and what was supposed to just be a quick drive through for one coffee ended up being two coffees three donuts for the kids and breakfast for John and I uh, <laughs> but it's nice to treat yourself once in a while um, anyways so we dropped Maggie off and when we left the poor kids were so sad Rosie got a little teary and Porter was really worried. They were just, they were worried. And Porter said, she's just a baby. Babies don't have surgery. And I had to explain to them that she'll be fine. They do this all the time. It's not a big deal and she'll be just fine. And we'll get to pick her up. And at four o'clock is when we pick her up. So not too long. And yeah, I don't have much planned for the day. I just gotta go home and get these groceries put up. I think I'm going to start a crock pot of vegetable soup, my favorite, with some cornbread. My husband hates vegetable soup, so I think I have some of his favorite soup, a tortellini and Italian sausage soup, in the freezer from the last time we ate it. So I think I'll thaw that for him uh, so he doesn't have to eat vegetable soup. I don't know how you can hate vegetable soup. To me, it's like the ultimate comfort food, and today is so rainy again and just cozy. So I'm looking yeah, forward to it. Um, but yeah, I'll take you along with that when we get home. I have a feeling we're going to be sitting here waiting for a while because there's a lot of people here. So I may go ahead and eat my breakfast. <laughs>
it is now 2.30. Uh, the kids and I had a little lunch. I had a very light lunch because I'm still not feeling 100%. I'm just, I'm starting to get like a little bit of a cough and I just feel, ugh, I just feel yucky. So I just had some orange juice and a half of a peanut butter and honey sandwich. And I plan on loading up on soup tonight. <laughs> And the kids, I got Rosie and Sammy down for a nap. And Porter and I decided to start doing his school during nap time because that's when he's the only one up with me and he can focus better because when we do it in the mornings, the other two are so crazy and it's really hard for him to focus. So that's what we're gonna start doing. So we did his school. I'm sorry if I'm like, if I just sound terrible. I don't really feel that bad. Like, I don't feel sick. My throat just feels so, ugh. Um, anyways, I just got some laundry going. And actually, funny story. This is totally rambly, but this is just a story about me being dumb, basically. So, we just got a new washing machine maybe like six months ago because our old one the little thing, the little float thing that tells the machine that it's full of water, so stop pouring water in, malfunctioned, and we woke up, and I had started it the night before, and we woke up, and our whole basement was flooded with water because it just kept pouring, just kept going. So that was fun. And anyways, in my old machine, you could start the water and have the lid open while it's pouring in, add your detergent so it would get all soapy, and then put your clothes in. So that's what I always did. And then we got this new machine, and you can't start the water until it's closed and locked. So, what I've been doing is pouring in my detergent, which is liquid, adding all my stuff, turning it on. There you go. And I was complaining to my husband that our sheets, which are white, have not been coming clean. Like, I just could not get them clean, no matter what I did. And... Then I was washing them one day and I poured in my detergent and it just happened to go right over the little holes at the bottom of the machine and it disappeared. And I thought, oh my gosh, all these months, it's still set on drain when I'm adding in my detergent and it's liquid, so it's just going through the holes. So there's like a couple drops of detergent in each load of laundry that I've been doing. Like, duh. <laughs> so, I finally figured out with this particular machine, I need to add my clothes, then add the detergent, and then turn it on. And things are actually coming clean. And I told my husband, and he was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that. No wonder they weren't coming clean, they were being washed with just water. <laughs> and I felt so dumb. But, it's figured out now. And, my sheets are currently washing. Well, I just put them in the dryer, and they look so clean, and I'm so happy. <laughs> crazy what will happen when you actually put soap in the washing machine. Okay, anyways, off of that tangent, I am working on these Marilla's mittens for my friend. She's actually going to be coming over tomorrow. So I'm going to have her try it on to make sure that it fits well. Uh, well, I think she's coming over tomorrow. If I start feeling bad or I think I have something contagious, I'm going to tell her not to come over because she has two littles and I don't want to get anyone sick. But we are going to Dollywood with her next Saturday for her birthday. And these are like a birthday Christmas gift. So I'd like to have them done by then so she can wear them. If you don't know, Dollywood is an amusement park and it'll probably be pretty chilly. So she'll have some mittens to wear, which will be nice. Dollywood is so fun. John and I have been going to Dollywood since we were dating. We used to go all the time. I used to skip school sometimes to go on a weekday whenever it was not crowded. There was one weekday we went on like a Wednesday. I skipped school and we went and we were like the only people there and it was raining. So like no one was going to Dollywood and we just rode everything like a million times. It was so fun. And before anyone judges me for skipping school, I did very well in high school. Um, I actually, before graduation, I was either second or third in my class, and I was to where I would have had to give a speech at graduation, and I was not about that, so 
I started to slack just a little bit just to bump me down <laughs> to four or maybe it was bumped from two to three. I don't remember, but I wanted to be bumped down a little bit because I did not want to give a speech. So me skipping did me some good, actually. <laughs> that sounds terrible. If you're young, don't skip school. School is very important. Now that I've got that out of the way. <laughs> uh, but we love Dollywood and we budget for season passes every other year, basically. So we have passes this year, which will expire at the end of the year. I'm so sad. But we're gonna go at least one more time with our friends and it should be really fun. Also, I can't, I can't work on these while I'm talking. It's a whole chart and everything. I thought I could do it, but I'm not that good at multitasking. Um, I did want to show you guys, I started, I want, I really want a knit blanket, but I don't want anything um, that requires a lot of thought and I want it to be quick. I thought first about crocheting, but sometimes I just don't love the fabric of crocheting. It's very thick and I wanted something drapey and nice. So let me go grab what I started and I'll show you guys. All right, so I started just a big bunch of squares. <laughs> and, oh my gosh, this bag. What I have so far, this is something that I'm just like pulling out every now and then. But even then, I don't think it's gonna take long. So, I'm just knitting a bunch of, well, some of them look like rectangles. Just a bunch of scraps, and I'm knitting them on really big needles. These are eight millimeter needles. These are so annoying, by the way, when I'm knitting, they get caught in my sleeve and it, oh my gosh, it drives me crazy. Uh, but yeah, I have a lot of uh, bulky or like acrylic yarn that's just in my cabinet that needs to be used. So if I can hold it by itself, I do. But some of them, like this one is an Aran weight and a fingering weight held together. And I'm making another square right now that is like candy colors. And it's, I would say like a, like a DK and then two fingering weights with it. And yeah, I'm just kind of like going through my stash and throwing a bunch of random stuff together to make squares to make a blanket. And I think it's going to be really cozy. And there's no pattern. I'm just, I'm not even casting on a specific amount of stitches. I'm just casting them on, knitting a row or two, laying it down to see if it's the same size and then going for it. Some of them are not, like this blue one was not long enough. And so I just, when I finished the top, I just turned and I knit a couple rows this way. I mean, I'm not, I'm not worried about it looking great. This is just a house blanket that I want. And it is nice to work on because I don't have to really think about it. And I'm just working on it here and there, like I said. And the squares knit up so quick because these needles are humongous. It's almost time to wake up Rosie and Sammy and go pick up Maggie. They did call me, they called me really soon. They called me at like 10 o'clock, 1030 and said that she did very well. And they wanted me to buy the little like cone that they wear so that she does not lick the incision. But I said, you know what? That's a waste of money because you can't put things on a cat. They take it off. She had a collar on and it was tight and she lost it in the woods. I don't know how cats do these things, but I've never seen a cat keep anything on them. So I said, you know what? It'll be fine. If I end up meeting one, we'll call you back, but I don't see her keeping it on. I'll just keep her with me and uh, just keep an eye on it. But anyways, we're excited to go pick her up. It's been, it's been weird, her not being here, even though we've only had her for a little while. I'm just used to her being here and she's not here. <laughs> and the kids have missed her. Oh my gosh, it was so sweet that they were so worried about her when we dropped her off. I was not expecting that at all. And we like, I they said bye to her and then we loaded up in the van and I 
caught sight of Rosie and she was crying very quietly, which is not like her. If she is crying, it's usually very loud and uh, dramatic. <laughs> so I could tell that her little heart was just hurting. And I said, oh, Rosie, it's okay. You know, she'll be fine. And Porter was trying to hold it in, but I could tell he was a little upset too. Just, <laughs> I did not realize that they felt that way about Maggie. I mean, I know they love her because it's their pet, but it was really sweet. And this has been a nice little learning experience, you know? Uh, my husband's not a fan of cats, and so many times he's like, I'm going to get rid of her. <laughs> like, give her away to somebody else, um, because she drives him crazy. But I said, no, she's so fun to have around, and the kids adore her. They would be heartbroken if we gave her to someone else. So, anyways, I'm full of rambles today, and... Okay, well, I'm gonna go drink some water because my throat is like killing me. I might try and find a cough drop <laughs> and knit for a little bit, maybe like 10 more minutes until I have to get the kids up and head out the door. Oh, and I still need to make, I laid out some deer meat from our freezer that I need to cook to put into the soup because I had forgotten to lay it out this morning so I couldn't add it in the soup yet. Uh, but I'll do that maybe when we get back. Also, if you're wondering what I'm wearing today, this is my pressed flowers shawl. I love this shawl. It's so cozy. I love it. Uh, I'll put a link to the pattern below. I try to put, I try to put all the things that I've talked about in the vlog in the description box. Some things may slip, but if you ever have a question, just ask me and I will do my best to answer. Okay, I'm going to sign off here. I may or may not talk to you guys again today. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. But anyways, I'll talk to you, if not today, tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Okay, we made it home and Maggie seems to be doing well. I am cooking up the meat to go into the soup and I've got to uh, heat up my husband's soup too. I mixed up some super greens for myself and I threw a little bit of pre-workout in there. Not going to work out, but I need a little caffeine to get me through the rest of the night. And I'm hoping that the super greens will help me kick whatever it is that I've got going on, and I feel like I'm starting to lose my voice, so that's fun. I'm just really glad that I don't feel sick. I can sound bad all day. That's fine. I don't have to sing at church anytime for like two weeks, so I'll be good. Uh, but I wanted to come on here and uh, kind of do like a little sign-off before the vlog is over, and I've noticed that I have a, not a lot, but... I'm getting more subscribers now that I've started Vlogmas and I realize I have not like introduced myself at all. <laughs> so if you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. My name is Michaela, 
and I love to knit and I occasionally crochet or so, but very rarely. And I've got three kids, which you probably know by now, Porter, who is five, Rosie, who's four, and Sammy, who will be three on Saturday, which I've got to plan a party for. <laughs> and yeah, I live in Western North Carolina and I'm a stay-at-home mom and homeschooler. So I'm glad you're here and I hope all of you are enjoying these videos. It has been really fun to make. It has kept me busy, of course, but I'm getting better and quicker at editing and time management. <laughs> so it's really working out and I'm really enjoying it. And the kids, oh my gosh, they love seeing themselves on the TV because we can play YouTube on the TV and they're like, there I am. So it's been really fun. Uh, but this is gonna be the end of today's vlog. We're just gonna have some supper and the kids are gonna go to bed. And as usual, John and I will just watch TV, have some tea, and I might go to bed early again tonight. It depends. If this pre-workout kicks in and gives me some energy, I might be up late. We'll see. I've got some videos to catch up on, so I'll have plenty to keep me busy and lots of knitting that I would love to do. So that's what we're gonna be up to, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.